It's great. The whole it's thing. great. Everywhere you go, there's something different happening. You know, yeah. there's it's like street bands in one place and performers in another. You know, you yeah. can't turn a corner. It's just like, like such a vibe around, around the whole city, and it's just it's just absolutely, really healthy. Absolutely. You know, well, I kind of took the the art gallery angle. You know, it's not that I wouldn't do during the day, but. Seeing as people have put things on at night, you know, yeah. it's kind of nice to turn Where'd up. You go? It's a bit different. Yeah, did, what was your route, actually? What route did you take? Well, you know, people now, seem to be planning their way out. I, I kind of didn't have a plan. We left, like, the IFI, right, at, like, 5 o'clock. Went to film base and it was packed out, so I didn't yeah. bother going in there. Right? What's, what's that thing called at film base? The sock? I don't know, the darning something. Darning. It's all about socks. There's, like, 600 socks stuck to the wall or something. <laughs> but <laughs> it, the, well, the, name like it the name of it is, like, a play on socks. It's like the sock summit, but socks meant to rhyme with something else. It's like darning oh, something on it. Well, they've got a load of um, short films on, don't they? In film no, base. Yeah, they like, do, down in the basement, do, yeah. I think. Like, you know, I think I might be running till 10. Fair play. Yeah, Very good. like, three-minute films. I went down to the project... And there was like, like the projects you could just stand. You got a lot of literature running. there. Terry. I got a lot of literature. <laughs> it's like Andrea Julia, right? It's know. good. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. It's something it? you're gonna have to spend a lot of time with. Time What's I didn't it? have, you know. So I kind of just took it in sculpture. See all the way they build their things. Yeah. Is that like Tessa doing that? Is that her decisions or is that like the artist? Tessa or oh, Tessa Gibbons, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, the curator. I'm not sure. You mean the aesthetic, the, actual, the look yeah, of yeah. it? They the always look. They've always on. got these interventions and different walls and different stuff. They're always kind of manipulating the space, but it always looks good. It, it always looks top. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And like, like I say, I couldn't commit to the video, but the literature seems very interesting. Yeah. And um, what I go after that? Monster truck, very good very good monster truck's gone from strength to strength you know yeah. it really has you know and it's a really it's a cerebral kind of a nutshell you know it's the type of thing that you're going to have to take a, a step back from and, and re-enter my favourite was James Merrigan who's basically built this platform so he's raised the floor of the yeah. gallery up about uh, yeah, two and a half yeah. feet and there's a little Seen ramp that. going up like fundamentally altering the space you know yeah. in a very different but way and it's literally as you it's right to the door as yeah, soon as you yeah, step yeah. into yeah. the space you're, you're standing you, on it lifted you know? like and then to the left of that is like a climbing wall which is like a, a portrait of uh, the sky, like just sculpturally speaking, it's awesome. That's right. That's done in relief as well as kind of sculpture, yeah, yeah, yeah. isn't well, it? That's kind like of they've moved the wall out like the floor in a sense. It was can, you climb, be, can you climb? It? No, you can't climb it. Now that was my instinct, being a physical sort of a chap. You, you want know, to kind of, <laughs> you I want to engage in a bit level, of an you know? adventure kind of block, yeah. <laughs> you know. But like, uh, no, you can't. But um, the video pieces that are involved in it as well, very good stuff, you know. Yeah. I'd say they've got. I'd say being where they are, just down the road in Temple Bar. I'd say it's busy. It's getting loads of. Uh, well, no, you'd be surprised. When yeah. I was in, there was about ten or fifteen. Was it? That's a lot, though. Well, you know, the front window is like a video piece, right? The whole window is taken up as a screen, so it's not particularly inviting. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You can't see that the stuff is on. Yeah. People just think it's from the out, from where. Uh, yeah, 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 to be viewed from the street, which you know, why not? You know, why yeah, not yeah. The, yeah. Well? the best thing they did was moving, moving there into that space in and Temple Bar. Francis Street. Well, yeah. Francis Street was they're a nice still space. Still in Francis well. Street, aren't they? They are, but it's exclusively a studio now. Ah, right. So there's so, nothing there tonight. Then, yeah, but it, yeah. no. Well, I don't know. Maybe they're having an open studio. But, oh, yeah. yeah. But, like it's a really nice space. It's a really nice yeah. part of, and they they kind of kicked off that thing on Francis Street. You know, there wasn't too many galleries and stuff when they kind of went down there. There was one or two, and now it's just wall to wall galleries. Yeah. The, the street, you know, but it's uh, kind of interesting stuff. But it, what I got in on when Temple Bar, Martin Healy is it was it, it, well, it, yeah, well, it's high production, you know. I really like it. I, I spent like quite it, a bit of time know? in there, today, yeah, like, you, know? you know. Now, I can, can you when you're in the space, can you hear the, the music and the hustle and bustle from the street? Uh, well, in Temple Bar, well, yeah, we're having in Temple Bar galleries it, with anywhere you are in Temple Bar, you can hear the you can hear something in the street, you kind of just tune it out though. Like yeah. there's a busker when I was there was a busker standing outside, you know, and it's yeah. like you get easily carried away with the oasis. And, yeah. I didn't find it too bad for this particular show. Previous shows, I found it a real problem, but this one I thought I think because there was enough, the audio was quite loud and it's yeah, anyway yeah. like you yeah. know. So well, well, last had its own year, soundtrack. Like this time last year, like on on no 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 two years ago, like Arthur's Day, the first one, whatever that was, I like Jackie Irvine had a show in there. Oh, and it yeah. was really subtle, really, really, really subtle ambient. show. It was about, it was, like, <laughs> it was about the silence in between notes of music, you know. And it was about yeah. eight or nine days. And the show opened at six o'clock, and it was like maybe five thousand people outside smashing oh, beer no. glasses. <laughs> oh, I yeah. forgot about Arthur's Day. That was yesterday, wasn't it? That was, yeah, yeah. Can you believe that? Go on. Yeah. So do you think Culture Night isn't a good night for uh, quiet work then? Is well, it? I don't 
don't know. I don't know. I, I don't think it is that. No, I don't think. Well, you know, it depends. Your space is either suited to it or, you're, or it isn't. Yeah. You know. I think it's, you can come back. There's a lot of these. There's, there's uh, interesting the difference in the venues. The way that some venues have went and put on uh, shows exclusively for Culture, Culture Night, Night yeah. and then other ones you're just actually experiencing their normal calendar. Yeah, like, you know, and like so. uh, a lot of studios just kind of open their doors, and then you've got places like Market Studios that really went all out. And Market Studios, I feel, have always championed that really diverse approach to art making. It's real hands-on, it's really artist-friendly, it's real artist initiative, there's performance, there's video, there's mm. sculpture, there's paintings, they've gone for this salon thing. It's just got everything. You know, really. now, that's, now that's just, and that, I mean, yeah. that's just facing... Um, it's what number is Smith that on the map? On the, yeah. on the um, just facing, facing the fruit Smithfield market. Fruit and Veg Market, and it's yeah, right yeah, on the yeah. corner, and it's upstairs above some of the market units, and yeah. they're, they're even um, doing a rooftop kind of garden at the moment. Yeah, kind yeah, of when they have exhibition openings and different kind of live events, you can go up on the roof. We was up on so the roof there, and from the roof there, if you look around, kind of the panoramic and look around, you can count the, the steeples of seventeen churches. <laughs> really? On the roof of Temple mm. Park Market Studios. Isn't that amazing? Everywhere you look, there's just church roofs. Mm. It's really, it's, it's, it's a brilliant just sight in itself. Yeah. Do you know? So that's number eleven in the Houston Museum quarter, anyway. So did you, did you go from? Uh, I, did you just I went across the uh, Liffey yeah. then, did you? No, like I went from across then. I went from uh, Temple Bar over to the Curlin Gallery, Siobhan and Pascal. I'm a fan anyway, so yeah. I was going to enter it in bias. Love Siobhan and Pascal's work. Always have done. I met her personally. I thought she was really just good. Really interesting artist or whatever. Now this is like kind of some really heavy work. You talk about um, a quiet space or whatever. Like the curling was empty now. You know there was yeah, no one around there. Off, but off the it is a little street. bit off the, the the beaten track. But it's not exactly. Um, the, uh, did you come out, Did you football. see any graffiti about the place? You know this graffiti project. Well, yeah, from Dublin Contemporary. Yeah. Well, yeah, but I know I kind of saw. Did you a see few any days of it? Ago. Did you see about? We're going to just we've we've got, we've got a little clip of your man giving a bit of information about it now. We'll just we'll just check that out now. There. Now we're here with Jonathan here on Radio Culture Night. Jonathan's with uh, the Dublin Contemporaries. You're going to tell us a bit, a bit about the... Uh, Roadworks project. Roadworks project. Hi. Uh, Roadworks is a street art project taking place in uh, all around Dublin 2 and Dublin 4 um, throughout the uh, Dublin Contemporary Festival. Um, over the period of this, the eight weeks, we'll be doing um, around 25 to 30 street art pieces. At the moment, we have about 20 up. Uh, starting anybody's in town we are giving a tour about half six from Rosford Terrace but you'll catch us at some of the sites starting at a place like uh, the Bernard Shaw you'll see pieces by Prefab going down from there you'll um, hit Baggett Street you'll find Connor Harrington's beautiful piece on the side of ba- uh, Bang Restaurant uh, following that down Andrews Lane you'll see pieces by uh, DMC uh, Will St. Ledger Jor can be found on Dame, Dame Lane, beside 4 Dame Lane, and uh, on the shutters of Green 19 on Camden Street. Um, you'll also find a beautiful stag, which uh, is just being finished up now by James Early, uh, on the side of the Clarence Hotel. It's really easy to see from the Working Men's Club as well. Um, and there'll be other little projects popping up. Uh, the sculptures of Mark Jenkins are well worth checking out, or the hooded figure, which is uh, above South William Street, hanging over. You'll also, if you look hard and it's quite hidden almost there is a girl um, stepping from an Im- imaginary step just at the uh, why go ball sign there on the corner of George street and dame street so there'll be about by culture night you should be able to see about 23 of these if you go to the um, www.dublinculture.com you'll find a map there a downloadable map which will show you some of the sites and we have other guests coming in, such as Deface and S. Graf, plus pieces by Mazer and many others over the next few weeks. So we're going to uh, we're going to get our super roving reporter here now, Eamon O'Brien. We're here with Rebecca and Owen, and we're going to talk with them about what they've been doing tonight at the Dublin Culture Night. And I guess you've made it here from Greystones. Yes. Yeah, we so, have so tell me, what have you done? What have you seen? Um, well, we've just been here for about an hour, but we've been over at um, Dublin Castle. We were in the Chester Beatty Museum, or library. It was really, really good. Um, we went into City Hall. We went to the Revenue Museum. Um, and now we're just going to potter around down Fantastic. here and see what's Fantastic. going on. And Owen, what, what, what has the highlight been? Um, I'd say probably the Revenue Museum. It was quite quirky, not what you would expect from a museum. The Revenue Museum. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I, I hope they were giving out instead of taking things well, back tonight. They, yeah, they were. They were it, was, um, yeah, it was quite interesting, all the old stuff, and um, recommending that you look after your taxes and stuff like that. So was, and tell me, have you caught any music? 
Not yet, but that's what we're about to do now, we hope. Okay. So, yeah. And there's a chance for a bit of artistic endeavor. Have you been to uh, any of the, the crafty type things? Not yet. Probably not, not Not in the top of my list, but I'd say my wife would probably um, drag Absolutely. me to one or two of them. There's a few the drama same. workshops and things. There's drama workshops and things as well, so I'm going to see what I can get him up to for the All rest right. of the night. Okay. So top of your list, so you've had three things that you really enjoyed. The Chester Beatty. Yeah, City Hall. City, City Hall was great. Um, and no one really liked the Revenue Museum for some bizarre reason. but uh. And we have a thumbs up for the revenue. Isn't that extraordinary? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well, good. Well, I hope you enjoy the rest of the evening. And I hope, now, in terms of music, any particular preferences? No, I'm open to everything. So whatever's playing, I'll have a listen to. Okay. I want to see what's happening. We're not exactly. too sure, but we're just going to find How did you hear about the night? Um, I was here last year and just a friend of mine dragged me in last year when she wants to go to the Dead Museum and so we went in last year and loved it and there's just a great buzz around the city and so this year I dragged Owen in just to see what was going on. So Isn't that great and have you seen all the historical fellows wandering around the place? We've seen a few historical people wandering around so we're just going to follow, follow them, follow the music and see what happens. Don't follow the Vikings, I wouldn't trust them. <laughs> <laughs> and tell me, um, um, what would you say to people who are missing the buzz about coming in to, to try it out, maybe? I'd highly recommend coming in. I have to say, I've never seen Dublin City so busy on a Friday night. People outside just enjoying the atmosphere and the, the museums and the music and the food. So it's, I'd highly recommend it. Yeah. It's a lot of fun, and I think we even have some, some children here. Where, where are you all visiting from? Would you like to be on radio? Yeah. Okay, now, what are your names? Kira. Kira. Teresa. Teresa. Shannon. Shannon and Nadine. Nadine. And you look like oh and Saoirse. <laughs> you look like you're a girl band. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And tell me, what have you all been doing tonight? Dancing. Dancing? Yeah. What, what kind of dancing did you do? You walked in a parade as well? Yeah. You walked in a parade as well? Fantastic. And tell me, who organised this? Uh, to you walk was the spirit have lived. Fantastic. And tell me, what was the best part of tonight? Uh, the parade. The parade? Yeah. yeah. And tell me, were there loads and loads of people? Yeah. Do you realise that you're famous now? Isn't that cool? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Will people be asking for your autographs, do you think? Yeah. yeah. No. No. <laughs> Before. Oh, you danced before? Yeah, we oh. danced um, for the Finn Leonard Tribute. Oh, fantastic. Good, cool. Well, and tell me, what else are you going to do tonight? Uh, go home and play you. you have fun. <laughs> You're going to have fun? Yeah. Okay. And are your mums and dads around? Oh, they've all, have they all gone home? Yeah. Yeah, okay, well, good. Well, listen, I, I hope you have had a great night, and thanks indeed for stopping and becoming nearly famous again on, t on radio. And we have another, another little interview here. Hello, I'm Eamon. Yes, very and, well, thank and you. And you are? My name's Dave. Dave, nice Dave, to meet you. Dave, Dave, nice to meet you, and welcome to uh, Near. Thank uh, you. Tell me, um, what have you been doing tonight? Uh, so far I've seen uh, Dublin Castle. Yep. I've been to a contemporary music event around the corner. Uh, it's quite interesting stuff. Dublin Who is playing? Oh, I've no idea. It's all just general contemporary new stuff and new uh, gadgets and whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> and did you come in to see anything specific or just a potter around? Uh, basically, I'm just winging it. I've got the little brochure. I'm going to wing it. I've, I'm going to head over to the science gallery, I think, yeah. shortly. Yeah, yeah. And what do you think looks best on the list so far? Well, there's some pretty interesting uh, hip-hop by some youths behind us. That's pretty good. Everyone should pop along to that. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you've had newfound interest in hip-hop? Oh, uh, no, unfortunately not, but it's it's good for the family. <laughs> okay, well, listen, Dave, I hope you've had a great uh, great night, and thank you indeed, and you're heading off for more music now. Yeah, more. I'll see what happens anyway, exactly. yeah. Good. Cool, right. thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, cheers. Now, that was lovely. Thank you, Eamon, there. Nice nice to see the uh, the youth of Dublin getting in on the act with the, uh, the boys the back in town, a little bit of dancing, and Jenny and Megan and Marius and the crew. I like girls, I like Kira, Mrs. Grey, girls. Right, so uh, <laughs> well, that was good, and I agree with your man before, saying um, that there is just such a buzz around town, and I just think anyone that isn't in town that might be listening to this, everything goes on till I think, like 10 o'clock early, so it'd be well worth jumping on the bus or wherever you are and coming in, because there's loads going on.